Welcome to another episode of the UX Portfolio Series. Thank you, Cindy, for suggesting this topic, and also thank Calvin for letting me use his UX project to do the demo. So now let's get to number three, demos. Let's pull everything together. So this is Calvin's website. This is one of his projects. This is called Sprout. It's an app for plants. I don't know too much plants, so this is quite interesting. So I'm gonna just use this as an example. So this app is an assistant for identifying, tracking, and taking care of plants. So some screenshots, we found a match, um, process, process, doo -doo -doo. let's go to the end. There's, there's an onboarding. There's a reminder, uh, profile, community, uh, some testing. All right, so if you remember from my other videos, I like to work on my project, design my whole layout in Sketch before I actually publish it anywhere. So we can do the same thing here. And now we can write about some of the key highlights for uh, what we think is important or interesting, okay? Uh, I took a screenshot of this because I think it really nicely encapsulates what this project is about. And if this app is aiming to identify, track, and take care of plants, if these are the three problems that we are solving for users, it makes sense to have one feature call out for each of these. If you don't know what use font to use, open sense will work. Identify, track plan, take care of plans. Because all the screens that you design, there's a purpose to it. Otherwise you wouldn't do anything about it, right? It doesn't make sense to make a mark for the sake of making a mark because you don't have that much time in school. And also it will take a lot of space in your portfolio. Let's say caption, let's tell the structure first, or maybe let's say three lines, okay? This might be still too big, so let me just size all of them down. So let's say five screenshots, five features to write about. And I'm gonna make, or let me move this out and then double check with those later. So if you zoom out, you will get a sense of what your portfolio might look like uh, with image and text, okay? So first, this is about onboarding. Um, let's stick with one framework. Let's just use the now plus caption, okay? So the now, that means the title is gonna be now, the name of the feature. So what would that be? Um, delightful onboarding, I guess that works. Delightful onboarding. So once you have the title, then you have to think about what does the feature do? What does it do? Uh, how does it help solve pr user's problem? What value does it bring to users? I'm not saying you need to write three sentences, but your answer, your caption, should answer one of these questions, especially the second and the third one. Or maybe it just create engaging experience, like in, have an animation, for example. So what does it do in the onboarding? And let's look at what the actual function of the, um, uh, the feature does. So, so there are three steps. Uh, first step is reminder, second step. So it's basically explaining what the app does, okay? So we can have some context here. So we can write some, Draw some notes down so it provides you highlight app features, um, three step process. Yeah, that's essentially it, right? So we can turn this into a three step walkthrough of key features to explore. Sprout. Well, that's one way, right? Or we can say, a simple walk through of three key features of Sprout. Remind, what's the second one? Uh, scan and share, right? I'll actually use this, right? So we have one. This is, I wouldn't consider onboarding is such a big feature to help solve problems, uh, but if we were to do it, you explain what it does, right? What does onboarding do? Uh, introduce three features. Remind, scan, and share. That might be a nice setup for the rest of the, uh, the screens uh, because it kind of do a summary highlight, which is also what an onboarding does. Uh, so we can leave it there. And as you can see my process, how I work is I'll just jot down notes and then start to write first version and then iterate on the top of that. Once you have one version that I like, compare against um, these questions, if it fits, if it makes sense, then I will just uh, leave it as it is for now. We can move this away. We have that here. We'll keep the question so that we know we are on track. So next one is reminder. Let's see what's in there. 
Yeah, your reminder is set. Uh, so the reminder tells you when to water the plant. Not yet scheduled. Okay, so I guess this is reminder. Uh, if we were to follow the same format, we have an adjective in the front. Uh, we will have a handy reminder. Let's say no water reminder. Let's say right. It reminds you to water the plant. So what does it do? Again, let's do the same thing. What does it do? It reminds you to water the plant. Uh, it also gives you the exact time. We can set reminders. Set a reminder for your plants so that you won't forget to water them. Set a reminder. So the what? Set a reminder for you, for your plants, so that you won't forget to water them. Mm, so that's okay. That that can work. Let's see. Let's see what else. Um, hmm, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I like to start with an with with a verb, so it's very action driven, action driven, and tells you exactly what you can do with the app. Remind you to remind you at the right time to water the plants so that so that they won't get dehydrated personifying a little bit okay so this uh that's fun so they won't get dehydrated maybe i'll do a smiley face just to be that goofy uh but yeah so notes version one version two works two lines and next one let's see the this is a profile Think of it as an Instagram for your plants. Posts, posts, daily posts, plant posts, feed. So this is more like a feed. Feed for plants. Feed of plants. A news feed. Plant feed. Plant. News feed. Plant feed. Okay. Um, capture. Again. Capture the beauty of your plants and share it with friends. Okay, I'm I'm getting faster. So does it do does it do any of this? Yeah, it it, it helps you. So it has a uh, social aspect. It also help capture your plants. So documenting your plants. Yeah. Okay. Next is community. Oh, this plants I saw. So see, oh, so this is actually a post of the community. I see. I saw this one. Mm, community. Green. Community. Share your passion. Let's say. And tips for. Sh tips. Share your passion on plants and exchange tips with others with like minded others well so the value it brings is you can get tips from other people how to take care of plants exchange tips share your passion no exchange grooming tips with like minded others showcase your your green babies and exchange grooming tips with like minded others yeah, that could work. Maybe you want to swap out babies for plants. Yeah, up to you. And then, lastly, let's see. Mm, take a picture. Camera search. What is this? This is a camera search. What is this? This is a camera. This is a search function. Point and shoot plants. We will tell you. The app will automatically will automatically tell you what kind it is that's one version let's see okay how about this one don't know what this plant is it's only one tap away from the shutter button yeah i mean maybe i like this one more so we have it all right let's move it away okay so now we have Five features to highlight, each one with only one line of title and two and maybe a little bit more than that, three lines for that. 
so everything looks cleaner and very focused. I focus on the image, maybe this is a carousel that actually just moves on its own. Uh, it automatically pages through a simple walkthrough of three key features of Sprout, Remind, Scan, and Share. We actually have Remind, right? Remind, we have Scan, we have Share. So, okay, so this actually prefaces the whole app, okay. Did we successfully accomplish uh, these three things? Identify, we have Scan, right? Track, take care of plans, I guess that falls into the community aspect. You can exchange grooming tips. But what is tracking? Uh, is track the same as reminding? Yeah, probably. So let's keep going. Next one is what a reminder. Remind you at the right time to water them. Remind you at the right time to water the plants so they won't get dehydrated. Okay. Next one, plants feed. Capture the beauty of your plants and share, share them, I guess. Share them with your friends. With friends and family. Well, let's, let's put it with the community, which is a nice preface to green community showcase your green babies and exchange grooming tips with like-minded others okay camera search don't know what this plan is it's only one tap away from the shutter button okay cool but yeah that is it my english or writing definitely not the best um don't completely follow my my uh, exact writing but you get the idea of what my approach is and how to write a little bit more concise copies for your project especially for these project call outs and that will be it for the demo so what do you think does that make sense does the demo help you understand better how to write feature call outs let me know what you think in the comment section down below the tldr is that you can totally have a lot of text to describe your thought process and the evolution of the design but what you show on your website should be concise and even minimal, just enough to highlight the key points and grab your audience's attention. Now, as you know, it's a time for bonus content. Bonus content. I'm more than happy to take a look at your portfolio and give you some feedback specifically on feature coil copywriting in your UX project. All you have to do is one, smash the like button down below to help support me spending hours making this video. And two, let me know in the comment section down below that you have liked the video. And then you can send your portfolio link to my email, which you can find on the about page in my channel. Make sure to leave your YouTube username there so that I know you have left a comment. And then I'll take a look at your portfolio, give you some feedback on copywriting, and a shout out in the next video. Good luck to you all on your next design portfolio iteration, UX internships, and full-time jobs. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful and insightful, please go ahead and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. This is still a very small channel, so every like counts, and I will greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more UX design videos like this, also consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content on own. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers! Thank you.